Boys, it's day number five, and today we're going to try to learn mouse ray casting and implement it into our tower defense game, all hopefully under one hour. We woke up nice and early today. We're going to get right to work. If you guys missed the last couple episodes, we built the map. We got the guys moving on the path. We got multiple enemy types. They kind of all look similar because they're all soldiers, but we do have a cool tank in the back. That will probably be the first map's boss, so hopefully you guys are excited for that. And we also have our towers that are actually taking out the enemies. They're a little OP right now. Obviously, there's going to be more balancing done later on throughout the series, but today we're focusing on mouse ray casting and the ability to actually pick up and like select our towers and hopefully place them or at least make some good progress on that so hopefully you guys stick around for that and if you're new here make sure you subscribe because we're so close to 600k boys help your boy get there and hopefully we can do it by the end of summer that's the goal and make sure you guys click the bell and turn on the notifications so you guys don't miss out on any future episodes for this awesome game that's in progress all right but well, let's go ahead and jump into gnome codes tutorial see what he's got to say we'll pull up ai we'll see what they got to say and we're gonna get grind and let's do it all right boys so step one it seems like we got to just kind of find the position of the mouse i think i said that before but anyways we made a new local script inside of starter player scripts called game controller and it's pretty much just following along with what he's doing here so far so we have this code right here let's go test and see if it works so we're gonna hop on into the game right here and we got our output saying wave one and it looks like something's popping up so that's in the game controller that's what we just made so that's good for 20 1077 so let's go to the bottom right just check down there it should all be different you know that looks good i think zero zero is top left right if correct me if i'm wrong but zero should be top left yep okay so i'm well, not exactly top left i guess but we're close enough we see that it's working so that is a good thing the game is actually detecting where the heck our mouse is so i guess we're gonna go ahead that's you know like step one we're gonna build upon that and see what we could actually end up doing with this i think at the end i did watch the video like fully through just to kind of like understand like what the heck i'm gonna be doing during the video when i'm filming my version of it but you know i think like we just kind of have to like select stuff and it seemed like he was going to turn everything like red just i guess that's kind of like showing that like you're actually like in game interacting with the world so that's the end goal that's what we're going to figure out and that's going to allow us to actually end up being able to finally place down towers which is going to be sick so let's stop this and let's get back to seeing what we got to do next all right guys so this is actually like not the hardest video out of all the ones i've done so far really not running into like any errors within this like part of the series day five here so we might be able to get two episodes out today day five day six all right well at least we could work on day six maybe we'll get it out tomorrow or later at the night but who knows anyways we have added a lot of stuff to our game controller here now so we added in another little thing right here this run service dot render step connect function type thing going on and it seems to show us like if you guys look in my output here as soon as you're in the game right and you're like you know like hovering over anything it'll tell you exactly what you're hovering over so i can show you in a second here but that's what our code's looking like so far and we got rid of all of like the what you would call it let's see here so when you like you know if you guys were watching at the beginning there it would kind of show you exactly my position on the screen with all the numbers and stuff well we just kind of uh commented that out so we can't you know get all those things popping up in our output and spamming us but now we're getting spammed with something entirely different which is all these parts that we're like hovering over so if you guys see here in the bottom down there you're gonna see like spawn location that's what we're hovering over right now if i go walk over to let's say the waypoint it should be that so it's waypoint five this would be like waypoint three or waypoint two sorry waypoint three waypoint four the tree which is gonna be like leaves and stuff so boom we got, you know, our tower here. In his video, if you're following along, like, you know, and you just, like, use, like, a part, well, you're just going to have your, you know, whatever your tower is called. Mine is obviously an actual dude, so that's his upper torso. And, you know, handle, I guess, means head. Or, well, there's the head. I don't, I don't know what the handle exactly means. Maybe that's because, like, the name. I actually don't know that. But we got the uh, stuff back here, the base. It's just called parts, I guess. I'm not sure the person you know that made this probably just called it all parts so we would have to go in and actually name it base or whatever but all this seems to be working we got the grass here this should be mesh parts because it's the mountain you know it's definitely working guys this is parts just as like the metal barricade we got the water back here so it is looking pretty good and this is the sand as well so yeah it's definitely working right now and it is updating non-stop which is you know crucial because obviously we don't want like the task to be waiting and then like 
your whole thing would be screwed up. You wouldn't be able to place it every like what three seconds or something or whatever you put the weight as. That would just be annoying. So we got it updating continuously throughout the whole entire game when it's playing. So that is exactly what we want, guys. Now let's finish the video up. We only have like a couple minutes left of the video, so let's see what else we got to do. And you know, it'll be a successful day if we can do this. Pretty much no errors today. That would be amazing. Let's uh, knock on wood real quick and hopefully. We could finish this with no problems. Let's do it. All right, boys. Well, we finished episode number five of Known Codes Tutorial. Big shout out to him. This is very helpful so far. But boys, this is the code we got for the fin like finale of this episode. The game controller pretty much done here. We do have some, you know, print statements commented out. I think on his video, he just pretty much deleted them. I'm going to keep them there just in case we may need them in the future. You never know, right? So I'll just keep them there. That's cool and whatnot. What Another thing I might do is I actually might run this code through my chat gpt here real quick just so like what we could do here let me show you guys not necessarily a little trick but we're gonna pull this up and i just want to show you guys something so just like explain this code with comments for me and oh i forgot to say me but anyways we're gonna put this in and we're gonna let it explain because this is just stuff that could actually help us out in the future and you know it's not necessary to do but it's something that you guys could do if you know you're not really understanding as you know well as you should be maybe but you know i don't understand too that's why i'm gonna do it so i just uh it's actually running the old code so we just gotta wait for it to be done and then we can actually put this one in and let's see all right so here look at see so there's a full breakdown of your code step with uh line by line explanations okay see i don't know if we need line by line but it sure does help guys see look at this check this out it's honestly a good idea because it completely explains everything and we could go ahead and actually check to make sure it still works the same as it should and before i you know implement this code actually into the game now like yes there's a lot of stuff going on with all this stuff but like if someone were to come work on your game it's always good to explain what you're doing so that way they also wind up knowing what they're doing because it trust me guys it becomes a mess when i'm working on the bike battles game i've no trust me i know having other people trying to work on the game it ain't easy for them all right but anyways, so like I was saying, we can copy and paste that in a second here, but let's just make sure that the whole thing works in general. So let's go back to the studio and we're just going to test this out and then let's see what happens. So what should happen? You may be asking. Well, we are going to be able to interact with the world now with our mouse and we set it to we should be able to turn stuff red. That's what he did in his video. So I just followed along to the same thing. Don't want to screw anything up like that, but let's click play and let's test to see if this works. So what should we try? We should try the grass. Boom. Click the left. And now it's only for mouse left uh, button too. So you got to remember that. Only for, well, mouse button one, but which is left clicking, okay? So, let's see. Let's try everything here. So, the leaves, the sand, we can maybe, well, the water. The water would be red, but the thing is, the water that's actually here is a part that's invisible. This water is part of the terrain editor, so it's not the same thing. But we can turn the boat red. We can turn the mountain red. Okay, yeah, so this seems to be working pretty well here, guys. Definitely working. Can we turn the actual dudes red? For some reason, it's not letting me turn his, like, oh, I think it is, but it's not letting me turn his, like, clothes red. Yeah, his face, his body, you can see his chest is red right there, right where the, uh, the shirt is, you know, shown as, like, v-neck type thing going on. Whatever, you guys know what I'm talking about. Anyways, we got the tank here. Can't do that, I guess. I'm not sure why, but once again, it might be because it's, um, uh, actually, I don't, I wouldn't know. Maybe the mesh part is a little bit different than just like normal parts i i honestly don't 100 percent know but what really matters is that we got it working for the most part and that's a good sign it you know definitely a sign of progress here i like the vibe of the red honestly but we're not gonna do that look at my guy yeah that's so messed up it kind of looks like the old xbox 360 modded characters if any of you guys played xbox back then remember that that's exactly what it looks like. But yeah, I mean, it's working, guys, so that's cool. And then now we could try it one more time, but we could go grab that code that was in ChatGPT here. So we got to make sure that, you know, it, it works. And if it works, then we have the whole thing explained to us and any other person that ends up working on our game, it'll be explained for them. So we go in here. We could just, uh, you know, delete this, I guess, just like that, paste that in. And now we have something that, We'll just explain everything for us. So, you know, services we need to use, which is run service, user input service, and it tells you exactly what they do. Runs every frame. Boom. Okay, cool. Now I know. Tracks mouse keyboard input. Boom. Cool. Because that's like the user input. That makes sense. Get the current camera used for ray casting. So our current camera is just kind of like what we could see. Awesome. Now we know. This will store the object the mouse is currently pointing at, which is the item. And if it's not uh, doing anything, it's just zero or nothing. Nil. Nil means nothing. Anyways. 
function to cast a ray from the mouse into the 3d world which is mouse cast ray right here so it tells you like this this is amazing guys this is actually amazing this is a tool that i'm telling you like chat gpt is amazing guys you know it may not be the best for certain things but when it comes to coding it could explain pretty much everything you need to know get mouse position on the screen like th this is honestly for someone who like me who doesn't know much about coding this is amazing because now i know everything that's going on here and like like i said you know, for someone that comes into the game and actually ends up working on it in the future, if they do, well, now they could actually see exactly what I was thinking or what, you know, what the stuff at least means. And that is very, very good. So, yeah, let's just try it out, make sure it works. And hopefully it works. <laughs> Otherwise, then we're going to go back and just change it back. But regardless, you guys can kind of get the picture there. It's definitely useful in its own way. But, okay, so we are clicking and it is working, guys. So cool stuff right there. It is definitely still working, boys. So that is good to know. I guess I shall keep it like it is. That way, we have those notes for the future if I ever so do, in fact, need them for myself or for someone else. Or if I end up in a year from now coming back to a project and want to make another type of TD game, I can just come back here and just be like, hey, look at the code, and boom. And I just, and you know, even and then I could just have ChatGPT explain it if I wanted to, but still. It's cool that it works like that. It's very, very neat. And, you know, we're, we're glad to uh, be able to move on to episode six in Gnome's videos. Day six for me. Like I said, I might start working on it today at some point. But after I release this video, I'm going to work on some, like, other videos. Tower Defense, uh, you know, TTD. Maybe some other games I can check out. Maybe try out some more of that Dead Rails game because that was pretty fun, too. Maybe Talantrix, other game. Who knows? We'll figure it out. But, you know, then we'll probably stream and hopefully do some Among Us later tonight. So tune in for that, guys, if y'all want to play some Among Us with your boy. It's going to be a good time. Reserve your seat. It's going to be a good spot. It's going to be a good time. We had uh, some good, good games yesterday. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. And if you're new here, don't forget, hit that subscribe button. Double check, triple check. Sometimes YouTube's unsubscribes. My subscribers are very unfortunate. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.